Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you two Minecraft solutions for Symbian. So here I have an Nokia 700, and, um, and, uh, this phone runs Nokia Bell, and, um, in today's video I'm going to be showing you two methods that you can play Minecraft on Symbian devices. Now, uh, the first method is actually, uh, exclusive only to Nokia Bell. So that means devices like this one, you know, this is a Nokia 700, but basically any device uh, that supports Nokia Bell can play my, can play this version of Minecraft. Now, um, basically it's uh, through the PSP version of it, so PP, SSPP, so, so loading process in here is actually a bit longer since it, you know, you have to actually load up the emulator, and then you have to actually load up the game itself. And uh, I have actually tweaked my controls a bit, so they actually aren't like this. And uh, then you wait for the game to load a bit. Now, <laughs> if you spin this, it'll lag a lot. But then when the game actually loads, you're gonna you're gonna have to see that it won't actually lag then. So, just about. And now, as you can see, the joystick doesn't really lag. Now, uh, this version of Minecraft honestly isn't the best one, but like it is still working something. So, so play selected world. So. Yeah, spiders won't attack you during the day unless you attack them. And here we are in my shitty world. Now, um, here you don't you just like tap, just have a D-pad and things. So you actually look around like this. You kind of, kind of rearrange these to actually be these blocks. Uh, creative honestly does not actually have putting blocks or wrong button. So I cannot actually place blocks, but at least I can actually kind of look around the world, you know. Jump around. But, yeah, it's just a... I mean, it is an official version of the game, and you actually do have survival in this. So, like, you can actually play in survival mode, but I haven't actually tested it out. Uh, So, yeah, here's the say I'm gonna exit game, because I don't want to save it. And uh, if you want to exit the game, you simply hold down the home button. If you actually have that, I don't know, it probably depends on the phone. And you close PPSSPP. <laughs> Oops, and I close this card again. Now, the other method, which actually works in S6TV5 and even S6TV3, so there's actually a more universal method, is ComCraft. Now, this is basically a Java Minecraft. It's not official. Like, if it was official, it wouldn't have a CC logo and it would actually say, be named Minecraft. But this is basically just a simple, kind of crappy uh, version. Of Minecraft now as you can see it is not made by Mojang it says copyright Piotr War uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that because I can't pronounce foreign names very well uh, as you can see we have multiplayer which I don't even know if it works single player I have a world here I'm gonna kind of show you around so actually like this it's portrait but then it's gonna eventually turn into landscape and yeah it's pretty crappy you don't even fucking look in it like you literally fly all the time Look at this, I'm going forward. I'm not on the ground. I'm fucking flying. It's a pretty... I'm even going through the blocks right now. This is a normal. Kind of crappy version of Minecraft. I actually used to play this on my Nokia E72 and just mock it for the fact that I wasn't able to really move. Because I didn't figure out how to move. You have some more crappy blocks. You have fucking doors. I even wonder if those work. Oh, yeah, they work greatly. But anyways, uh, that's really, yeah, that's really about it. Uh, so, yeah, pretty sure. Anyways, that's pretty much about it for all the Minecraft solutions you can get for Symbian. Uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And peace!